Hello, hello, thanks for tuning in. All right, we're back at the EF Civic, and if you didn't catch the last video, click the link above. We got the transmission in, turned it over, and it didn't fire off, figured out that the fuel pump wasn't priming. So I finally got it up there without a jack supporting it. Had to go and pick up the transmission mount and everything else. The lady found a box of parts, so thanks a lot if you're watching the video, I appreciate it. We're going to go into replacing the fuel pump now. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just long and drawn out. On these cars, I'm going to fold the back seats down. And right in there, you'll see a little clip. Just go ahead and pop that clip out. And you'll see it right there. A little... Uh, Mickey Mouse cutout it's referred to. So go ahead and do that on both sides and we'll be able to pull the uh, back seats out. Okay, as you can see the seats are, well the back parts of the seat are taken out. So what you'll do is once you pop that little clip out there, you can slide the seats towards the windows on each side and it'll release from them little studs there out of that hole. There's enough room to slide it over, just be careful. Push the fabric in when you do it and it'll release it. The bottom seat cushion is that 10 millimeter bolt there. We'll get it off and this thing should pull right off. All right, once you remove that 10 millimeter bolt, you'll rock the seat forward and pull it out of the little tabs in there. Go ahead and collect all the change that's been dropped by the passengers over the years. Clean up any nastiness down here. And right here is the fuel sending unit cover. Go ahead and remove those Phillips head bolts and disconnect that connector okay we've taken the fuel sending unit cover off disconnected the power wires and leads and tucked them back down now the fun begins get the car up in the air and let's start working underneath in that tank all right we're under the vehicle now we've got all them nice dirt dauber nests the area we want to work in right here is this plastic cover that says sh3 on it Remove all the Phillips and 10 millimeter bolts and that'll expose the area that we're mostly going to be working in with the connections and the lines and everything. And this is on the driver's side. Alright, we got the fuel tank out. I didn't want to go through showing every step, but it's not too difficult. You got a metal line coming in off of the actual fuel hanger assembly. That's in with a 14 millimeter um, flange type nut you want to use a uh, line wrench for that you don't want to strip that out because that's on the car side of the uh, of the uh, vehicle and if you strip it out you have to run a new fuel line couple hoses that are a little tight it's not too too bad we'll just get them all out and there's the connectors for the sending unit and stuff so I have a whole new hanger assembly I'm gonna get in there we're gonna blow off all the dust get all this crap cleaned off and hopefully the inside of this tank is not rusted all right we got the old fuel pump out i ordered a new one and thank god because obviously it is messed up and the entire inside of the tank there is rusted as you can see slightly in there everything's rusted so i'm gonna have to order a new tank and a new sending unit oh, that's gonna suck so we're just going to keep moving on with it. And the radiator in here is messed up. So we'll start pulling the radiator out here soon. And getting all that taken care of. Alright, we're still at the EF here. ED6 hatch. And the gas tank, as we've seen before, was rusted. I got that thing capped off. We had the cross original cross member here for the front. It was in pretty bad shape. My nephew washed it up, cleaned it off with the pressure washer. So we're going to hit it with a couple coats of Rust-Oleum, Rust Stopper Primer, and then paint it enamel black and get it back in the car because we found the passenger side wheel was locked up. So we want to go ahead and get this to stabilize the front of the car because these unibodies or whatever they're called, you know, they're not, they're not the friendliest. Especially if you start jacking up on it with the cross members disconnected or anything, they like to twist. We're going to get this thing sprayed up and 
hopefully get some of the energy suspension mounts in there the little uh, polyurethane pucks i gotta order those but we'll get this on there for now without it and get the engine mounted to this front mounting point here so we can get it lowered all right we got a coat of rust-oleum rust inhibitor and primer i'm gonna hit it with some enamel black that's just paint transfer All right, so if you see there, we got the first coat of the Rust-Oleum uh, Rust Stopper Primer. Came out pretty well. All the rust spots are gone. They're filling in nicely. That was all rusty area. It's a little choppy, but once we get the enamel on there, you probably won't see it. All right, we got that nice thick layer of enamel on there. Got this cross member looking nice and good. So I'm gonna go back up in there. It's not perfect. You can still see some of the old spots and pitting where it was rusted, but it's not gonna rust anymore. And it'll look a hundred times better being in there like this. All right, so it seems they stripped the bolt onto the car. Pull that socket off. Just pull, it pulls straight off. So we'll try and uh, get it off here because the electric impact's not working to get it off. All right, we got the uh, wheel off. The caliper, upper caliper mounting bolt is missing. This whole assembly is frozen. The wheel does not move. So I want to get this thing off jack stands and get that uh, cross member that we're painting up in here so at least it's stable. Uh, we're just going to disassemble this entire front spindle, see what's going on. I don't know if it's the hub assembly, if it's the caliper. I guess we'll find out. All right, we actually got the wheel off and we took the caliper off. The brake pads were seized, so the wheel bearing seems to be good. It is spinning, so we are going to get this thing on the ground as soon as we put the cross member in. We went ahead and just gave it a nice little wash in here, cleaned everything out. You know, still a lot of things that got to happen. We're going to go ahead and pull the radiator out on these EFs. You know, they're held in with two upper radiator mount so we already got that out we're gonna go ahead and just remove all this other stuff and try and take it out as an assembly all right we pulled the radiator out we cleaned up a little more and we painted the uh, finished priming the rest of the cross member we're gonna try and get the enamel paint on it and get it up there tonight so we can get this uh radiator in all right we got a new used radiator in we recoded the radiator hold downs and put a little bit of clear polyurethane in there to kind of keep it nice and tight and you see i got very little flex in there it's actually working out pretty well so yeah also got the uh cross member painted and put in down there we got a new coolant reservoir put in there it's the engine setting in there good so the only thing we're waiting on now is the fuel tank so that'll be in the next episode Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.